Anyone in the Yorkshire town of Huddersfield will be familiar with the humongous abandonment sat crumbling for the last decade in its heart. In today's abandoned video, we are showcasing our 2021 exploration of Kirklees College and Huddersfield Royal Infirmary that dates back to the 1830s. Join us as we explore the structurally inept property to see what old details remain today. guys just a quick notice before this video starts we're going to be filming our 100,000 subscriber Q&A very soon at the end of this week so if you have any questions that you want us to answer um, anything you want us to admit to just send them in and uh, we'll go through them and pick out the best ones preferably questions we might not have had before unique questions are always good um, but yeah send them in and uh, we'll we'll go through them all and you'll see that video very soon hope you enjoyed today's video The building began its life as Huddersfield Royal Infirmary, the first hospital in the town. Constructed in 1831, the site operated for more than 130 years, having had many additions, such as new wings and medicated baths to increase patient capacity and fields of treatment. In 1965, the infirmary moved to new facilities nearby, and the vast site was bought by Ramsden Technical College for £105,000, with teaching beginning three years later. During this period, many additional blocks were built that differentiate entirely from the Victorian hospital structures, and it was these where we started our exploration, on a chilly spring morning. Upon accessing the premises immediately, we briskly made our way onto the roof to survey the 6.1 acre site from a bird's eye perspective. It was some view, taking in one abandoned building after another, all appearing weathered down by a mixture of vandalism and natural deterioration. Eventually, after double checking that no one had watched us enter, we could head down and attempt the impossible task of working our way through the college without missing anything. Wow, look at that. Look at the state of the roof down here. Good overview of the site as we're going deeper into it. It's really bad though. Let's do this yeah. This will definitely give you an idea of how trash this place really is. You can see it's completely scrapped. We've seen scratches, but I'm not sure what they're taking. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like there's a lot to take. A little classroom. The desks have been stripped from the top as they always are. Probably this would have been used for teachers, love, by looking at that preparation room. Um, maybe some lab technicians. And this would have been where they'd prepare experiments to teach. A 
little office back here. Extremely empty though. I reckon we just leave these floors. They're all going to be the same. They're all going to be the same. No big way stripped. We've already seen scrappers in here. So, noises that we're hearing at the moment are probably the wind, but on edge, I guess. More of the same. Let's keep going down. This is the engineering block, apparently. It's more computer science than them. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. This is some sort of workshop. But for some reason it's way more graph than any other part of this place. They definitely would have some hefty machinery in these workshops, which is why the huge shutter is there. Look at these booklets. I guess this is when it closed, 2013. That's crazy for the amount of vandalism that's gone on in under 10 years. Looks like these were the planned apartments. And a reception. I wonder how many of those are across this whole site for all the different courses. The scrappers have actually had a field there. Must be like heaven. the source of the fire. Massive room full of papers. Someone obviously wanted to set it alight. And this is the consequence. Oh my god. Jesus. This is actually a really nice part. Um, let's just look at the fire damage there. Yeah, it's modern but quite cool with all the light coming in. contrast between the fire damage part that's just sat in the dark behind me in this extremely light area is really nice it's all thanks to that skylight this reminds me of a shopping centre with the skylight and they're quite pleasant colours. Having a close look at the fire damage, um, and from the layout of this furniture, I feel like this would have been a library, um, probably with like a study lounge. It has these little booths where Students could work in a more private setting. Um, and these are some of the surviving, or well, I say surviving, they're still broken and deteriorated, but surviving bookshelves. By the 1970s, more than 8,000 pupils were studying here. Now known as Huddersfield Technical College, an interconnected Goliath of 60s tower blocks and grade two listed hospital structures. In 2008, the school merged with Dewsbury College to create Kirklees, who planned to relocate to a new purpose-built £70 million campus to house 20,000 students. This would occur in 2013, and the former complex was left abandoned.
This section's much more older already and we're not into the cream coloured building with the pillars. So hopefully it should get better but it's still going to be very vandalised. That's not going to change. It's a nice staircase. I feel like they're going to get better though. I could see a wooden banister and some nice details in comparison to all the boring ones we've seen. Decay in this bit too. Tall corridors. Damn. Small little modern lecture theatre. Tell a lot of people have come in here and chilled by all the vandalism. We were now beyond the more modern facilities and moving into the older hospital section. The signs of relatively intact labs. It's been a lot more modern ones, so at least these are wooden. have come down. There's a lone bed in the corner here, one that's quite dated. I remember seeing photos of this place back in the day but during its time abandoned and there was a lot of beds in here and it was in quite good condition but it seems they've all been taken out or stolen. This is the last survivor. Since closure, the buildings were used on numerous occasions for television filming and areas were designed to look like a hospital, police station and a care home. It is unknown whether spaces like this, which appear to be a closed off ward from before the college conversion, was really just a recreation for the shows. Exam office is that way. Here's another really nice staircase. I prefer this banister the most, I think. Such a shame that these are the only details that are left. That window as well. These are some of the best features of this place, this old uh, ornate reception desk and this stained glass window. Terrible condition though. I'm surprised it's not been smashed though, unlike the rest of this place. Yeah, maybe it's like enforced. This is the entrance to the hospital. Stained glass window seems to look much nicer on this side. And all the old wooden panels still in place. It's hard to walk around in here because of all the crap on the floor. Here's an office. Some folders and paperwork. Still hung up on the notice board. Seems we definitely missed 
best times of this place. I can see why scrappers aren't even in this part of the building, there's nothing worthy for them. It's all fire damaged and trashed. Probably because it was old and made out of wood. Although the derelict Kirklees College isn't of a typical standard to locations we tend to visit, it was a very requested place at the time of filming. It was nice to enjoy a classic exploration that was very simple too, especially in a structure as historic as the Huddersfield relic. Since our coverage, the complex has mostly been demolished to be replaced with apartments, a supermarket and offices. Thankfully, the listed infirmary will be retained, so it will be interesting to revisit in years to come to witness what they managed to protect in one of the most dilapidated places we have ever been. Here are some of our photographs captured at the abandoned college. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description where we share images from our explores months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Remember to send in your questions for our 100,000 subscriber Q&A. We're filming very soon. Hope you enjoyed our first video of 2024. See you next time.